He said, if I win, will you flash me? He says, well, why don't you and your mom, uh, all three of us, why don't we have a threesome? He would make um, vulgar uh, um, comments about things he wanted to do to me sexually. Some current and former Cicero female employees are speaking out about town president Larry Dominic. He claims to be cleaning up the town notorious for bad behavior, but the women say his own behavior is anything but clean. Four women have now filed sexual harassment lawsuits against Dominic and other town officials. The allegations in their lawsuits go way beyond talking dirty. They include physical assault. He even got up from his chair and even placed his hand inside my vest to fill my breast. Groping, fondling uh, of the breasts, of the crotch. Retaliation? I was refused overtime. I was written up, suspended. Always on me all the time. I mean, and it's hard because it's stressful, really stressful. And even allegations of possible witness tampering. Sharon Starzik runs Cicero's animal shelter. She says Dominic physically attacked her and bombarded her with dirty text messages. She says she kept quiet about it because she feared losing her job. She decided to come forward when she says Dominic told her to lie about it in a deposition where she was called as a witness. He says, deny, deny, deny. I said, I can't. There's too many witnesses. And he told me it was my word against theirs. These are among the most disgusting and personally offensive allegations I've ever seen against a public official. Dominic has ignored my repeated requests for interviews, but did defend himself in a videotape deposition. Have you ever referred to any woman's breasts in the workplace as titties? No. During the lengthy deposition, Dominic held firm, insisting he did nothing wrong to any of his female employees. Have you ever referred to women as sluts? No. And insisted he does not tolerate sexual harassment in Cicero. Does the town of Cicero have a zero tolerance policy on sexual harassment? Yes. And what does that mean? We don't, there's zero tolerance. You can't talk like that, you can't touch them. Larry Dominic spokesperson sent out a press release a short time ago accusing us of Duke lacrosse style journalism, insisting that our story is not true. But others are coming up to me, including women who work for this town, thanking me for the story. There was a town board meeting here in Cicero earlier this morning, but Larry Dominic was not at the meeting to run it. We're told he had a previous engagement. His spokesperson now says that Dominic will not talk about this because he doesn't comment on pending litigation. These are all political shenanigans, people that have a political ax to grind, and that's why these charges are presented. We look forward to our day in court, and we take these charges very seriously, and we will be vindicated. He thinks he's above the law now all of a sudden, and he could do anything. And you got to stop it, because it's got to stop somewhere. You get on Larry's wrong side in the smallest way. If he can do anything about it, he will. So you don't blame these women for being afraid of retaliation? Oh, no, definitely not, because he's already shown he'll do that. Those are Larry Dominic's brothers who obviously are estranged from him. A short time ago, I talked to a woman who successfully sued this town for sexual harassment a number of years ago. She told me that she thinks it's worse now than before, and she says that she continues to be retaliated on the job. And as for those accusations that these women are coming forward for political reasons, one of them, Sharon Starzik, actually campaigned for Dominic when he ran for re-election in February. She says she felt she had to to hold on to her job, and some of the others supported him when he ran the first time back in 2005. Live from a Cicero Town Hall, Ann Kavanaugh, Fox Chicago News. And were people at the board meeting surprised that Larry Dominic didn't show up, or was there word about his previous engagement? Well, we, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take it at the face value, Nancy. Mm -hmm. I, I was told on Friday that he would not be at this meeting. So, um, you know, apparently he's down in Springfield doing some other work. So I don't, it was not a surprise to okay. me that he wasn't here. All right, Ann Kavanaugh and Cicero, thank you.